Defense Minister Rajnath Singh interacted with the CEOs of several American defense companies in Washington and outlined the emerging code development and co-production opportunities in India. Poland is looking at Indian developed loitering munitions, medium range air defense systems, observation drones and NATO grade ammunition. India and US have started initial talks on reciprocal defense procurement agreement that will allow Indian businesses to service US Department of Defense procurement contracts and allow US businesses to service Indian Ministry of Defense procurement contracts. Ukraine's President Zelensky has proposed cooperation with India on the development and co-production of advanced drones and electronic warfare systems. Indian Navy's INS Mumbai destroyer has arrived in Colombo on a three-day visit, on a day when three Chinese Navy vessels are berthed at the same harbour in Sri Lanka. ISRO has said that the small satellite launch vehicle can be assembled in just 72 hours with a team of six people. Egypt has started talks with China to acquire J-20 stealth fighter jets, after the United States abandoned its previous commitment to sell 20 F-35 to Egypt. Indore Air Systems along with five other defense public sector undertakings will establish a new AV testing facility at IIT Kanpur at a cost of 60 crore rupees. Zeus Numerics has developed 81 mm precision kits designed specifically for UAVs, that is equipped with an ejector rack mechanism, that has the potential to convert any conventional payload into a precision guided munition. A former professor of mechanical engineering at IIT Kanpur, who is known for his expertise in aerospace structures, has expressed serious concerns about the placement of the canids on the Tejas Mark II, saying that it could lead to developmental problems. He also criticized the decision-making process behind the Tejas Mark II's design, and also questioned why the Aeronautical Development Agency seemingly overlooked this potential issue during the design phase. He also called for redesigning the forward fuselage of the aircraft, that would not only address the canard placement, but also present an opportunity to reduce the radar signature of the Tejas Mark II. It's important to note, that his concerns haven't been officially acknowledged by Aeronautical Development Agency. As India is moving ahead with its 40,000 crore rupees project to construct two next-generation nuclear attack submarines, the Navy has yet to make a final decision on whether to accept the French offer of pump jet propulsion system, or opt for domestic development with a major Indian engineering company. The choice between French collaboration and local development will have a significant impact on the project timeline and cost as opting for established French technology could lead to a faster operational deployment, while domestic development would represent a long-term investment in indigenous capabilities. India's ambitious plans to lease the Chakra 3 Akula class nuclear submarine from Russia by 2025 seems to have hit a roadblock. While negotiations between the two countries were once progressing steadily, recent reports suggest that the talks have cooled down significantly due to several factors, but mainly due to imposition of Western sanctions on Russia, that has made it more difficult for the country to engage in large-scale defense deals. The gas turbine research establishment has submitted a proposal to the Ministry of Defense, seeking dedicated funds for the establishment of a high-altitude test facility within the country. India currently lacks this crucial infrastructure, forcing it to rely on Russia for testing its cavalry engine. The establishment of a high-altitude test facility in India will not only benefit indigenous engine program, but will also strengthen the domestic aerospace industry as a whole. Today's top 3 comments, 